Welcome back everybody. In the last episode, we did the reveal video for Project Wilson. And in that video, I showed you guys something that I did not mention the entire time during this build. That is the LED backlit panel that we put inside the rod locker. So stay tuned, I'll show you guys exactly how we did it. One of the last things we need to do to finish off this project is to add a wall on the inside of the rod locker. Here is that wall. I pre-cut this from 050 aluminum sheeting uh, prior to adding any of the lids or uh, decking material down or the hydro turf. But I don't really want to just vinyl wrap this piece and then stick it in there. I want to do something a little bit cool and different and hopefully it works out. The only thing I've done is spray painted the wall in here and already made the measurements for the wall and have that cut. I also added a piece of one and a half inch angle aluminum up top. And then there is an LED light strip on the underside of this that will help shine the light down into the interior of this wall. I have a piece of acrylic that I picked up from Home Depot, a few decals I had custom made, and some Rust-Oleum frosted glass. Okay, so we're about ready to cut this acrylic. I have a little bit of a line in between these two pieces of tape right here. So I know where to cut. Um, I taped both sides of this with painter's tape just to keep the acrylic you know, covered and a little bit safe. This is my first time cutting acrylic. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and use the jigsaw again, but we may have to make another attempt at this. That went fairly good, except for the side of the jigsaw cut into the tape. So hopefully that didn't damage that too much. I think that part's gonna be, you know, frosted over anyway, so it shouldn't really matter, but yeah, it was pretty easy. So this is the top, this is the bottom, as far as when this is gonna be fully installed. You can see I have these lines on the outside going around the perimeter. And now I have my marking points where I want my screws to actually hold this acrylic against the backside of the plexi or the aluminum. Like I said, this is my first time messing with acrylic and I have these self tapping screws to go into these areas. But what I'm gonna do first is pre-drill my holes because that seems smarter than just, you know, putting self tappers straight into acrylic. And then we're gonna have to take this all apart and I'll, go into explanation on that in a little bit. All right, now that we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna come over here to the plate. So originally when I, you know, cut this out, got the right size fit, um, we did not have the, uh, the deck on or the lids in, any of that. So like this piece was easily able to slide into the position that it's supposed to be in. But now with all the stuff on the boat, this piece will not fit. So I need to actually cut this piece into two. And that's what this line here is for on both sides. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle.
I don't think this worked or came out the way I imagined it to. You can kind of see there in the B uh, is lifting up on the corner. Same with the O. It's looking all funky right now. That's really the main two letters that really did that. I don't know if I like applied this too much, the spray and the vinyl kind of like soaked up that moisture. I don't really know. We're gonna take this apart right now and kind of see how it looks. I, I think I'm gonna have to come up with a different solution. This actually turned out way better than I was expecting it to. I only had to clear out a little bit of the frost from the O. I just used, I don't know, I used a very, very small uh, flathead screwdriver to, to get that out of there. I'm very happy with this. I do have this little imperfection here, which I'm gonna use the Windex, clean that up real quick, and then attach the bottom portion of this framing, well, this aluminum sheeting to it with the pre-existing holes, place this in the boat, and then add on the top part. Let's uh, turn the lights on and make sure it looks the way we want it to. This in all honesty came out so much better than I was anticipating it to for the first try. Um, obviously it kind of sucks that we have this gap, you know, in between these two pieces, but <sighs> man, it looks so cool. And just the fact that this hasn't been done before, you know, puts a smile on my face even more. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have not seen the reveal video yet for this boat, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Project Wilson is now complete.